Okay, actually a lot of students ask me about this function qu question so I decided to like make uh, another video to explain about this one but actually I believe I already did, did in my YouTube channel however yeah I just make another one alright this function question this is like for 4MX I think it's the first chapter okay this function question will be slightly difficult um, slightly different and difficult for some student because in this kind of question he gives you the fx and then he gives you another composite function and then he asks you to find the gx so it will be slightly different so I'm going to like teach you how to do this kind of question actually it's not that hard but then you have to understand the concept yeah, in order to solve this kind of question so for example this kind of question the first step what I will do is actually I will like I will like let fx equals to m all right then what i will have is since fx equals to m so therefore m will equals to 2x minus 5 all right later i will uh, i will explain uh, how to use this this one all right 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 now we got something here gfx is actually equals to 15 minus 4x over 3 okay we know fx equal to m isn't it so you will see what i will do he do it here is i change the fx become the m so it will become g m okay this is one of the important step right and then here i just i just copy whatever i have over here all right the problem is the question asks you to find gx means if here is m i have to think a way to change whatever here become the m means i cannot have x i need to change the x become m so therefore i need to find a equation which have the m as a subject uh, which have the x as a subject and related to m therefore we have something like this so over here i'm going to make the x be as a subject and then I substitute back into this equation and then I can easily get gx because if I got gm over here I must make sure my the other side will have something in m alright in terms of m alright so over here I'm going to make x as a subject so therefore I will have g 2x equals to m plus 5 so easily x will equals to m plus 5 over 2 I'm going to call this one as the first equation then I'm going to substitute into here in the second equation so you will see I write, will write something like substitute 1 into 2 then okay then I'm going to substitute the x into this x so you see carefully what will happen is okay this gm I continue then here I've got 15 minus 4 I put a big, big bracket over here over 3 so this is my x right what is my x my x will be m plus 5 over 2 all right then i can easily simplify this is 2 this is 1 all right then i multiply negative 2 into the both so i will got 15 minus 2m minus 10 over 3 so therefore i will get what i will get 15 minus 10 i will left 5 minus 2m over 3 equals to gm all right so over here gm equals to 5 minus 2m over 3 right the question asks you to find gx so it's very easy change whatever m here become x so gx will equals to 5 minus 2x oops uh, minus 5 minus 2 2x over 3 then you are done all right for this kind of question is actually is like not really hard but then yeah the difficult part for this kind of question is you must able to see the connection so the first thing is i always let f fx equal to m yeah of course you can put in any other alphabet all right and then yeah so m will equals to 2x minus 5 but if i do it myself i will straight away make x as a subject because i already familiar with this, this kind of question i know later i'm going to substitute this x over here but then if you are not familiar yeah you can do like step by step so you you will got m equals to 2x minus 5 right you just leave it here and then you start with the gfx equals to 15 minus 4x over 3 and then change the fx into m 
because you hear it lab ready, right? So this one you straight away we got GM. So you know at the end you change the G GM into GX, then you got the answer. But then the problem over here is actually the problem over here is actually you have got 15 minus 4x over 3. But then here is M, so you have to make the x become M. So therefore, whatever you have here is very important. So this one you just make x as a subject in terms of m and then you substitute this one into this one and then you just solve it and then you can easily get you can easily get gx all right it's not really hard but i really want you to like make more practice in this kind of question because really you need to practice in order to remember how to do this one all right i hope this video can really help you okay thanks for watching